see this question. In the arrangement shown in the figure, the ends P and Q of an unstretchable string moves downward with a uniform speed U. The pulleys A and B are fixed. The mass M moves upward with a speed of options are given 2U cos theta, U by cos theta, 2U by cos theta, U cos theta. So let us see the problem. Let us analyze the situation. Here you can see that if you are pulling P and Q with a velocity U, this mass is going to move in the upward direction. Immediately, we can create a right angle triangle here. All of you listen very carefully. So along the center line, one line I'm drawing, then along the rope, I'm drawing another line and I'm going to connect these two lines. So I'm getting a proper right angle triangle, a Pythagorean triangle is obtained. So now, if I'm representing the distances, this is represented as Y and this is L and this is a distance C. So here you can see that this is a proper Pythagorean triangle and you can apply, apply Pythagoras theorem in this situation. Now let us see an animated illustration of the situation. Here you can see that the P and Q we are pulling with the same velocity in the downward direction. As a result the mass is going in the upward direction. See if you are pulling at different velocity this distance C is going to vary. Here, since we are pulling at same velocity, the C, the distance from the pulley to the center line is going to be constant always. Now, we can solve this problem with a little bit of calculus and trigonometry. See, first of all, we can write down the Pythagoras relationship here. L square will be equal to Y square plus C square. And we can take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. This derivative of the left hand side will be 2L multiplied by DL by DT, which is equal to 2Y multiplied by DY by DT plus 0 because C is a constant we already seen. The C is not going to vary with respect to time. So here immediately we can cancel out this 2 and you will get a relationship L is equal to or L we can say DL by DT is equal to y by l multiplied by dy by dt. See what is dl by dt? dl by dt is nothing but the velocity at which we are pulling u, uh, velocity at which we are pulling p and q in the downward direction. So this is u. So u will be equal to y by l multiplied by dy by dt. See what is dy by dt? The velocity at which the mass m moves in the upward direction. Again you can take cos theta in this triangle. So cos theta will be equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse y by l. So we can say y by l is cos theta and I'm going to call this velocity as capital V. So this is cos theta. We can write down u is equal to cos theta multiplied by v which is the unknown quantity we are trying to find out that. So v will be equal to u by cos theta. So that is the right answer is given in the option B, U by cos theta is the right answer here.